Paul, we just said it there, that was a great team performance, possibly deserving more than the point it's taken. Yeah, I thought it was a, an excellent team performance um, from start to finish. Different types of performance, thought we played some good football, thought we defended well. Um, it's really hard, it's really hard to... Uh, really hard to stand in front of you here and talk about a game of football that has been completely spoiled by one, two, well, two people, I think, two people um, not, wearing the foot, not wearing the football kits of Lincoln or Carlisle United. Um, some of the decisions today are absolutely incredible. Um, it was a penalty first half. Their director of football has actually said to me coming off the pitch, it, it's an absolute stonewall penalty. Um, he's just said to me at the end of the game there, um, and it is. There's, there's no, I, I don't get it. I don't get. I just don't get it. And then Joe Garner gets smashed trying to make a run into the box, and because he appeals, he gets a yellow card. And the, and the referee's laughing with me at the start of the game about what a ridiculous yellow card Joe Garner picked up for celebrating with the fans when he scored the second goal against Shrewsbury the other week. Um, who's laughing now? You know it's. Um, no, I, I, I'm not going to talk about his performance because it's um, I'll, I'll get myself in trouble again. But it's, it's spoiled the game. We should have been two 0 up there. They, well, we shouldn't know. We should have had an opportunity to be two 0 up, um, and it's been taken away from us. And we've had a, a, a momentary lapse where we've not pressed to go and get close to the ball where they've equalised. Um, that one's not the referee's fault. Um, that's ours. We didn't. We just, for that moment, we didn't do our job properly. We didn't go and press the ball, which we did really well. Um, but this isn't an easy place to come. They've had two league games, I think it is, and they've won 3-0 both times. So to come here and play like we did, I'm really proud of everything the players have done. Um, and they've all, they've all put a shift in, and we've got to make sure we keep building on it. You could sense it from the start, Paul. It's one of those days where you could see everybody was on it. The passes were crisp, that there was movement, backing each other up. Yeah. You name it, it was happening. Yeah, well, we knew if, if we could get three or four passes in, we could get control of the game. Um, and I thought we did that and we created some good opportunities. Again, it's those fine fine margins, getting the quality right when we get in the final third, getting the decisions right. We've probably had three or four shots from 20, 25 yards that have trickled into the goal where maybe we could have had an extra pass or maybe we could have had just put our foot through it and gone for, for power as opposed to, to trying to shape shots in. Um, We've done a lot of good things today and it's uh, it's something that we've got to keep building on, we've got to keep improving. I think the training this week has, has been a step up in levels, the way they've gone about it. And I've just said in there that we have to keep doing that. You know, we, we're, we're starting to find our feet at this level. Um, we're still not there yet, but we've we've come a long way since that first game of the season and we've just got to keep keep moving forward. Part of finding your feet is getting the goal when you're on top as we were and that's starting to happen for us as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, we had good delivery again from a set play um, and Luke gets across the first man, which is what his role is. Um, we've had other opportunities with some of our free kicks. I don't think we're on the money that we wanted it to be really, but we've had other opportunities where we've put balls into good areas. Um, I just think we've it's a really good, strong performance um, I accept that they had a bit of the ball when they changed the shape um, in the first half. The, the outside centre backs were get, getting out a little bit, but I thought we were secure at the back. I thought we had a good shape about us. Players played with real discipline. Um, it, there was a lot of good things to take out of today. I'm just disappointed there is not three points. What will that mean for Luke? Uh, it'd, be, it'd be a big thing for him. I mean, he's played with a bit of fire in his belly today. Um, you know, last week he was disappointed to, to not be starting um, when I played JJ. But um, you know, he's, he's, he's worked this week. Um, he had to have a I had to have a little bit of a quiet word with him after the way he was last weekend because he, he didn't react in the right way to being left out. And I just said he has to wait for his opportunity. Unfortunately for for Josh Coyote, he's got his Luke's got his opportunity today and he's took it by getting a goal. Some of the football as well, Paul. I'll, I'll pick out the move where Finn back ends up cutting it back for for Mox to shoot. The passages of play like that we're starting to see more and more. Yeah, we are. Yeah, because we've got a bit more control in it. We're a bit calmer on the ball, and again. That's another opportunity that you have to be clinical and you've got to score. Um, simple as that, really, and it takes the game away. Unfortunately, if you don't finish it, um, I don't even think it's a good save. We've made it a comfortable save for him, but we have played some good football. First half, I thought we had good control. Second half, there were spells where we did, where we did as well. Um, 
So as I say, I think it probably should have been more than more than just one point, but we have to just take that on the chin. But building on what we've done the week before, that was important as well. Yeah, it was because we, we said we wanted to be three unbeaten after today. Um, I, I really felt this was a game, regardless of the fact they're good at home, I thought this was a game we could come and win today. Um, and we set about it to try and win. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to do that. I just think if an official had done his job properly in the first half, there's a penalty and you have an opportunity to go 2-0 up and it's a different, it puts a different complexion on the game. Unfortunately, it hasn't happened today and uh, we, we go away with one point. But I, will ask one. Me, I will ask this one, Paul. Do you speak to the officials about that kind of thing or do you not? You know something, nowadays you're not allowed to. I went up to him at the end of the game and just said, you two need to have a serious look at some of your decisions today. And the only answer he's got is, go away or I'm going to give you a yellow card. They, they, you can't speak to them now. They've changed the rules so much that you're not allowed to have an honest conversation. I didn't swear at him, I didn't shout at him. I literally said, you need to have a look at those decisions again. Um, and I honestly think he'll be embarrassed when he has a look. When he looks at that penalty decision, I think he'll be embarrassed. I really do, because... Um, for me, that's quite a straightforward decision. Um, I really do. I, don't, I don't, don't see anything. There's a one at the end where he gives a corner when it's either a free kick or a, or a goal kick. It's the only decision that's not the right one. It's, I, don't get it. I just don't get it. I really don't. And some of the yellow cards that we've got, um, it's just easy. It's easy for them to do it. It's easy for them to threaten you with a yellow card. and. Um, Referees, no, I, I don't, I'm not foul and abusive to them. I don't rant at them. Um, but his only, his only thing he could say to me is go away or you get a yellow card. So you waste your breath with them, to be honest with you. Defensively, you've mentioned the goal that we conceded, but so solid, we were locked on, we were in mm. the shape, and it, it, it mattered because it, it helped us to do what we did today. Yeah, I asked John Mellish just to play with a bit more discipline today and just to sit in, and because we're finding we're getting exposed a little bit. When he goes on his marauding runs, he get, we, they're just popping it straight back into that slot where he's, where he's left. So I asked him just to play with a bit more discipline today and barring that one run in about the 95th minute where he got down the line there, I thought he did it really well. Um, I thought it, Sam and him locked on really well. Hunt dealt with the nine down the middle. Um, Callum Guy did, did a good job because I always felt that we, we, with the three centre-backs and Callum, we had a 4v3 that we could get a, a foothold in the game and the rest could go and win the game for us. And for long periods it worked. Um, I also accept that they had the ball, but I never felt as though we were troubled by it because of the areas they were getting it, and I'm, I'm comfortable if their outside centre-backs are getting the ball. So I, I thought they did it really well today as a team. Uh, they worked their socks off. They're really disappointed in there that they've, they've not come away with three points, if I'm going to be really honest. An example of what you're talking about there, everybody doing it. Mellish did it, that run that you're talking about, 95th minute, 10 seconds later, he's making one heck of a tackle at mm. the other end. They all did the jobs both ends. Yeah, well, he conserved his energy because he wasn't allowed to go on his marauding runs today. But away from home at places like this, you know, a team that's won 3-0 in both the games, sometimes you have to have a bit more discipline about it and you've got to come and have a solid base to build from. Um, and I thought we had that today. Um, and then we've got players who are in those forward areas, whether it's starters or coming off the bench, who are really effective, who can cause problems. Callum Guy, 150 appearances for the club, and he was he was full with it as well. Oh, he was. He was excellent, Callum. Yeah, he's uh, he's put blocks in. He's he got on the ball and moved the ball for us and started a lot of things off, um, and showed real control. So, you know that that's that's no mean feat uh, feat to get 150 games for a club. So, well played to him, and hopefully there's a lot more to come. Really wary asking this one, but we have to, JJ, not on the team sheet. Yeah, not good news with JJ. Um, he dislocated his shoulder in the Accrington game when he got smashed on the edge of the box. Uh, we think what must have happened is he rolled, he rolled over, he popped it out and it popped back in in a similar sort of movement. Um, he had it taped up and he said he was fine, he'd be OK with tape and then it just got worse and we went for a scan. Uh, he's torn um, a muscle in the shoulder um, which needs surgery, so he's having surgery on the 26th of September and we're expecting him to be out for 10, 12 weeks probably um, so it's a huge blow a massive blow for us more importantly it's a massive blow for JJ because he's um, it really settled in and I was you know I, I was looking forward to seeing him getting fitter and stronger and being a real focal point the truth of it is now it opens the door for somebody else and this is where Ryan Edmondson came back onto the bench today. Uh, Luke Plange started and got his goal and um, while JJ's out, everybody's got to come in and do the job. Once you get over the fact that decisions didn't go our way, Paul, and the dust settles, you're going to be looking back at a performance that tells us that 
we've arrived. Oh no, definitely, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's to go to Stevenage and get a point last weekend was a big point. That that was a big thing, and then to come here today and get get a point for ourselves. Yes, there's disappointment that there should have been three, or we should have had an opportunity to get three. Um, but it, there's there's things that are going really well, things that we're building on, and we've just got to keep trying to be positive. Six hundred and forty-five didn't show up. Ah, they were magnificent, weren't they? I knew it from the start when I came out for the start of the game. They were outstanding. Um, and it's always nice to go and applaud them at the end when you've had something. It would have been even better if we were applauding them on the back of a win. Big club coming to Brunton Park next week, a club that you know very, very well. What's something to look forward to? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, they're all, all games at this level of games to look forward to. Um, we're a good club as well, so you know we've got to make sure we're a good club on the day. We've got to do it properly. We know there's going to be an incredible crowd there, um, away fans and home fans. Um, we've just got to go and continue the good stuff that we've been doing in these last three or four games and hope that we can keep building. Paul, thank you.